Thanks for checking out GWF. Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss any future GWF content. So a special showcase match on the way from our friends at Oriental Wrestling Entertainment. On his way to the ring, one of the greatest stars of his generation in Asian wrestling. What a man, what an honor to have Shima here at Legacy. Massive honor for us to get to call one of Shima's matches here in Berlin. I mean, there's a who's who of who this guy's beat. Shima has wrestled everybody. And the fact that we get to see him live here in person is going to be a real treat of a match. Lots of support for Shima here in Berlin tonight. Well, Shima is one of the most experienced wrestlers from over in the, the Far East, but the man he's about to face is one of the most uh, talked about young stars from that part of the world. Yeah, certainly a hot prospect, especially over in OWE. Seahawk. Uh, quite the, the, the younger compared to Shima, but not inexperienced to say the least. When you look at things, T-Hawk, certainly a fierce competitor. I'm excited to see with this partnership with OWE and GWF, whether we'll see T-Hawk perhaps challenging for one of the GWF championships down the line. Berlin, unsere Jungs von Oriental Wrestling Entertainment! Mit einem Gewicht von 82 Kilogramm aus Osaka in Japan. 2007 gewann er die Battle of LA. Hier ist Shima! Zu meiner Rechten mit einem Gewicht von 86 Kilogramm aus Hokkaido, Japan. Tiho! Well, here we go. You take two of the finest wrestlers from OWE. You give them a platform like Legacy, and you motivate them with an opportunity to impress this sellout Berlin crowd in a showcase match. That, to me, James, sounds like a recipe for something special. Sounds like something great that's about to happen. And you know, I'm from the gaming world. If there's one place where things in entertainment and gaming and even wrestling is exploding, it's over in China. And OWE right now is such a fantastic opportunity. I can't wait to see what these two guys are going to give us. There you see the experience of Shima. As he able, was able to get T-Hawk's shoulders down to the canvas very early on with a crucifix pin for a two count. T-Hawk's going to have to be very, very careful here because Shima is the kind of guy who knows a thousand ways to beat you. <laughs> Not only a thousand ways to beat you, I feel like he probably has a thousand ways in his mind to beat T-Hawk. These two both are part of the Strong Hearts group. They know each other very well. And as we said, in an exhibition matchup here between the two, I feel like this is going to be the teacher and the student knowing each other inside out. Yeah, Shima has been very much a mentor for T-Hawk, as you say. And this really is a huge opportunity, especially for T-Hawk, because not only is this a showcase for OWE, but it's a chance for him to beat the man who he has idolized in some ways throughout his career so far. But there is a drop kick from Shima. This Shima is going to hold the baseball side of sorts between the middle and bottom rope. Shima is taking charge here. And if you've watched any OWE, you'll know fast pace action is the name of the game here for the competitors. Shima, we've talked about it. He's been around the wrestling scene for a very long time, but he hasn't slowed down. Even the fact that he's so experienced going all the way back into the early 2000s, the guy still flies when he has to. Well, referee has a count on here, but Shima is very, very well aware of that. He's going to roll T-Hawk back in. Shima, a leaping sent on over the top rope there, is dictating the pace, he's dictating the strategy. 
Uh, this is very bad news. You've got to think early on for T-Hawk. Yeah, wow. Look at that rolling into kind of a modified calf crusher almost. The way he's putting that pressure down on the ankle, on the shin. That was a beautiful roll through. Submission possibly about to happen. Just manages to get to the rope. You can see he's trying to get the blood circulating back into that left leg because there could be some significant damage done there. And as always with any kind of speed matchup, if you can take away the legs, take away the base, they're very difficult to take off into the skies if you're only on one leg. Again, Shima will pick up T-Hawk. T-Hawk is trying to get down onto uh, one knee there to counter, and he did so, but Shima made sure he landed behind him. T-Hawk sent to the ropes, and oh god! Catches him with that sit-out powerbomb, but the damage was done from earlier. T-Hawk can't quite get into a pinning position. I think the, uh, the scale of the occasion has maybe got to T-Hawk a little bit in the opening minutes, but that might give him some confidence. It's certainly bought him some time. But you can see he's still favoring that left leg. I'm telling you, Jack, I think Shima did some damage. Yeah, absolutely. With that, that, the way that the ankle and the shin was being contorted by Shima, I think that's a, a very deadly submission. If, if t Hawk finds himself back in that position in the middle of the ring, I think that could very well be the end of the match. But t Hawk is just going to keep that arm held, keep Shima under his control, and look for a power slam of his own. We'll go for the cover, hooks the left leg and gets a two count. Shima, for the first time in the match, looking like he may be in just a little bit of difficulty. Yeah, maybe just if T-Hawk can keep up the offense, keep his eyes focused on Shima. He seem perhaps a little distracted by the crowd here. Here's perhaps the experience advantage that Shima is going to have. This is a long time playing to the crowd for T-Hawk. Well, he was still able to get that chop away, and T-Hawk's grown in confidence, but there's a DDT. T-Hawk needs to make sure that confidence doesn't mutate into arrogance here. He's got a, a submission hold of his own. They're very similar in setup with that rolling disorientates. Now, all wrenching back on the neck of Sima. Look at the, the shape of the lower back of Shima. That is not supposed to bend that way, isn't the human spine. And not only is this immense pain, but Shima's got to try and crawl, drag the entire weight of both competitors towards the ropes. And look how far away he still is. He needs to try and get a little bit closer. He just made it. He just made it. But you can see just for a second there, it looked like he thought about tapping out. That was the level of pain that Shima was in. And I think some people would say, well, it's an exhibition match. It's not a championship match. Just get out of the submission tap. Let T Hawk take it, but no, this is pride. This is the the showcase of OWE, of what it means to be an OWE competitor. Neither man wants to go home the loser. This is a long way away from like a, a training session or something. This is a, a, a huge platform for these guys to <laughs> showcase everything they can do in front of this massive crowd here in Berlin tonight, and they are raucous and very much enjoying this OWE showcase. But despite how loud the crowd are, that shot echoed through Huxley's here. Shima with a oh, kick to what? the head. Brutal, absolutely brutal. The double foot stop to the shoulders of t -Hawk. I don't know, if, can anyone recover from that? That kick to the head, my god. That was brutal, no love lost here between these two. We talked about it being an exhibition, but certainly this one's getting brutal. Oh, there's the double foot stop again, using the bottom rope of the spring wheel and the knees. That god, has to be it. Painful to watch, let alone to endure. I don't know how, I do not know how T-Hawk kicked out. <laughs> Just pure instinct at that point, driving the, all of the air. And it deserved this is awesome, Chan. Brutalizing T Hawk is Seema. Yeah, I'm not sure T Hawk agrees that this is awesome. I don't think he's got a whole lot of oxygen left in him to tell you either way, Dave. Well, T Hawk on the second turn, but there's a slap from Shima. It's about a thousand different ways he can beat you. There's... You never know if he's going to go for something high flying or just a slap. Go for a submission again here, it looks like. 
Oh, look how adept, adept Shima is at just utilizing every single limb, every single twist and turn in this submission setup. Yeah, and you see how the arms of T-Hawk are caught up, so he's having to try and shift his body around. He needs to use his legs to get to the bottom rope, and that's what he does. Smart by T-Hawk to be able to shift his position and use the only limbs he had available to him to break the hole. This might be some of the most impressive submission work that we've seen here in recent GWF history. How many holes is Shima going to put T-Hawk in in this matchup? Like crazy, out of nowhere rolling holes. How do you compete with that? Shima will take a run up here on T-Hawk. Shima ends up on the apron. T-Hawk goes to the right, up, uh, the right hand. Shima counters. Shima's trying to climb. T-Hawk won't let him. And finally, that big chop across the chest slows Shima down. Both men have given everything in this match. T-Hawk is on his feet, but only just. Well, hang on now. T-Hawk is trying to pick Shima up. T-Hawk looks like he's going to take a risk here to try and put away his mentor. You see the power about to be on display. If you've seen OWE, the deadlift wow. superplex, beautifully executed. Great strength on display from T-Hawk. He'll go for the cover and Shima kicks out at two to keep the match alive. <laughs> what is it going to take for T-Hawk to actually get the three here? He's endured all these submissions. Hit him with some real power moves here. Maybe T-Hawk here looking to put this away, looking for that night ride. In the end though, he was countered by Shima. He gets a super kick into the side of the head. Goes for a clothesline to T-Hawk, no one home. And a knee into the head that chops in Shima down. Shima rolls through, but Shima doesn't know where he is. And Shima! gets planted by T-Hawk, who hooks the leg for the upset, no! Not quite enough, despite the fact that Shima goes head over heels, face first onto the mat. T-Hawk had picked up the speed. Not quite enough once again for T-Hawk. Surely he's just one big move away. Crowd here in Berlin, absolutely loving this OWE showcase as Shima gets the boot up. Shima oh, using his feet to propel the face of T-Hawk into the middle turnbuckle. And just like that, slowed down the pace has Shima managing to take control up to the top turnbuckle. Shima getting his balance, T-Hawk hadn't seen him, there's the double knees across the shoulders, hooks both legs, Shima to win it, and T-Hawk kicks out again. What, T-Hawk kicked out after the Meteora? That has put away so many people, but once again, to the top turnbuckle goes Shima, looking to put away this man. Oh, he, well, he couldn't have enjoyed a second one, and he knew it. T-Hawk, goes for a shining wizard, no one there. There's a backbreaker from Shima. This time he nails it! T-Hawk, he's not on his second win, he's on his fourth, his fifth win. How did T-Hawk survive through that crucifix from the top turnbuckle? Shima in trouble, Shima is in trouble at the hands of T-Hawk! Into the sit-out powerbomb, the cover, no, 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 no! This time it's Shima who somehow does the impossible. He's setting him up, looking for it! What's he going for? The night ride? He gets it! The night ride from Tio! Will he? Will he? Yes, he does! Yes, he does! And here is the winner from Hokkaido, Japan, Tio! Well, that was very, very close. It looked for a moment like Shima had kicked out at the last possible moment. Referee makes a judgment call and says the T-Hawk defeats Shima. But that shows you just how close this matchup was. Split second, barely even that. But T-Hawk, the winner of this one after a tenacious matchup. But a standing ovation here at Huxley's for both competitors from OWE. Well, I'll tell you something, if that is what Oriental Wrestling Entertainment is all about... What's the partner promotion? Oriental Wrestling Entertainment! These vibes in absolute the top stars again. Thanks for being here! Danke, dass ihr hier wart! Shima und T-Hawk! 
If that is what OWE is all about, then we need to see more from that promotion. Oriental Wrestling Entertainment put on a show tonight at Legacy.